Hey guys, Thunder E here, and you guys know I'm a gamer. I do a lot of gaming on the channel, uh, so for me that's just my normal thing. But when Home Depot reached out and said, hey look, we'd like to do a smart home video with you, and I was like, yeah, this is a good opportunity to show you guys the kind of products I use at home, and you know how it fits into my life as a gamer. So I decided to pick six simple smart home products you can use today, right now. I know it's not five, but I figured six, it's a good number because there's a couple of reasons why I have these devices yet and I want to show you. So the first one is something you can clearly see in a lot of my videos is the Philips Hue lights. I'm talking specifically about the Philips Hue light bulb. Now, I use a lot of Philips Hue lights and yeah, you don't have to get all the lights I have, but you can start with just one. And the Philips Hue light is great because it's it's it works really well. It connects via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's got a really simple app that allows you to set up to the lights you want, set the mood if that's necessary, if you have more lights within your home system, or you can also use it with smart assistants, which brings me to my next device. And that is the Google Nest Mini second generation. Now, the Google Nest Mini is great. It's small, it's portable, you can put it anywhere in your home. But for me, it rests on my gaming desk. Yeah, right in front of me, because while I'm gaming and I wanna use my voice assistant, I can use it right there, it's not far off. And the Nest Mini is something that can be tucked nicely on my desk. So I love that about it. It's easy to use and it's very, very, at least portable around the home in terms of placement. All right, so, I'm done gaming and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna to move to my kitchen and uh, I'm gonna make something, right? I've got a recipe in mind, I've taken things out of the fridge, I have it all set up, and you know, my recipe requires me to have water at a certain temperature. And this brings me to my next device, which is the uh, U by Moen Smart Faucet. Now, uh, what I love about this is that I can give it a specific command like this. Hey Google. Ask Moen to turn on water. And it gives me water at 100 degrees. That's absolutely great. That is fantastic. I love that about it. Now, yes, it's a faucet and it sounds very simplistic uh, and it's got, you know, typical features you would expect. It's, this has a smart sensor, so you can use, of course, touchless controls, uh, which is nice. Uh, it also comes in various designs that they have and colors, so whatever fits your home aesthetic. In terms of installation, uh, I was Pretty easy to set up. I got a friend to help me out with it. Uh, but if you need help, definitely go ahead and uh, get a professional to do this so you don't mess things around. But I really love the fact that I could tell it to turn on the tap, give me uh, water at a certain temperature for you know my dish that I was making. So I, I know that I was following the instructions as effectively as possible uh, to for me to make the dishes I want. So to me, that is great. That is why tech is there. I mean, it adds some more simplicity to your life, makes things a little bit much easier overall. So I really like that and I think it, it, it goes a long way. So. Now, I'm done making dinner, I'm eating, I'm relaxing, and you know, the doorbell rings, and it brings me to my very next device. And I'm talking about the Ring Video Doorbell. Now, what I like about it is the Ring Video Doorbell is very simple and easy to use. Now, this uh, is either hardwired, if you've got a hardwired system in your home, or battery powered. And for me, battery power works quite well for where I live, uh, and it's easy to set up. It's got micro USB charge in the back, uh, which you can easily recharge the battery there and the setup process is literally scan and then you know if you have an account if you don't have an account sign in and then one two three go it's that simple to set up and easy to use the app is very intuitive it shows you of course you know your live feeds you can see what's going on live you've got um, a walkie-talkie feature you can talk to somebody at the doorbell so maybe someone's dropping off a package or something like that you're not around you can see who's there so it also has night vision so that gives the ability to see things if it's darker around outside your home all those features and it's very easy to set up and install. So uh, this is a great feature to actually have and use. Now you picked up your package and you're walking back into the house. And it's a bit chilly, so you want to set the temperature and the next product is really great. I'm talking about the Ecobee 3 Lite. I love Ecobee products. I've been using them for quite a while as well and I've gone through different iterations. The 3 Lite is great because it is smaller uh, footprint. It's easy to use. The touch controls are really nice. You can go in and quickly change uh, the temperature or set it for, in my case, since I have a HVAC from uh, auto, hot, cool, quite 
easily and directly off the panel, the OLED panel. Also gives you temperature outside, so you know, okay, what the temperature will be out during the day. And as well, this connects easily to your uh, Alexa or uh, Google Assistant. So you've got that connectivity with smart smart speakers all around. And speaking of smart speakers, like while you, while I walk back in and I sit down on my couch and I wanna listen to music, uh, but I also want to use my smart speaker, there's one that I truly like and it's from Sonos. I'm talking about the Sonos one. The reason I like the Sonos one is Sonos has done a really good job over the years with audio, especially over Wi-Fi. I think they do a really good job. And the Sonos one now brings a lot of that audio capabilities as well as uh, connectivity with smart assistants. It's the only speaker I can think of that has the capabilities of switching between Alexa or Google Assistant. You can decide which one you want to pick. You don't have to buy something separately. So I like that about it. So if you're not, you're, you're not like me that likes Google Assistant, you can go over and use Alexa and have those controls or even have Samuel L. Jackson's voice come off the, your, your speaker, which is actually pretty cool. So there you have it, guys. Those are the smart products that I really like. They're six, they're easy to use. Uh, there's things you can set up. I mean, that faucet really, not only blew my mind, but I just really liked the fact that it was easy to set temperatures and do things in the kitchen while that is going on. And you know, you can also just tell the turn off and things like that. But I think overall, you find something that fits your needs for a smart home or to start your smart home in some way. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.